Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mama Double N. Guys, before I get started, if today is your first time of tuning into my channel and you haven't subscribed, you have to subscribe to my channel. Do that. Click on the bell icon to get all notifications so that you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Okay, guys, let's get started. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I prepared my toddler's food. The food is very easy to prepare and it's also very healthy for the baby. You know, when you, the children have to eat lots of vegetables, it will, it will boost their immune system. So I'm going to cook potato with vegetables today. Okay guys, let's get started while I introduce you to the ingredients. As you can see, I have my mackerel fish. I have already um, cut it. I have my sliced tomatoes, zucchini my black pepper carrot sliced as well onions olive oil maggi cube one maggi cube salt and my potato also already sliced Next thing is I'll put my olive oil in the saucepan and start the process, start cooking. Yes. So as you can see the oil is hot, I'll just add my salt to the pot. Yes, I do this um, every time I want to fry something, that's how I do it. And then I'll add my onions and let it fry. And um, after that I'll add my... Um, other vegetables to eat yes I'll add my carrots to it now yes as you can see carrot is frying I'll add my zucchini tomatoes and I'll just turn everything together my mackerel fish my smoked mackerel fish yes and my black pepper I have one teaspoon of black pepper there Yes, I am using black pepper this time. I don't want to put um, too much pepper in it so that it won't be too hot, you know. My baby is the one that is going to eat the food. Yes, I don't want it to be too spicy. So I'll just add water to it, add my Maggi cube, my one Maggi cube, and then turn it together. Yes, and after that, I'll add my potato to it and, of course, turn it together. Yes, so I'll add water to it for it to properly cook and, of course, I'll turn it together. Yes, so after that, I'll just um, cover the pot and let it cook for some minutes. Yes, it is better to put your water, to add water to your food bit by bit because if you put it once, it might be too cook. So it is better you do it bit by bit. As you can see, after letting it cook for some minutes, the water is still not enough and I have also tasted the salt is also not enough. So I'll just add a little bit of salt to the food and add a little amount of water to the food as well so that it will be properly cooked yes and another thing i would like to say is um it is better to make the baby food um light you know don't let it be too thick like too too thick because when it is too thick it won't be uh well, good for the baby's stomach so i'll just let mine be a little bit light i won't let it too thick
yes as you can see my food here is ready like i said i don't want it to be too thick so it is very okay like this this is how my baby will love to eat the food yes So food is ready. I'm about to dish my baby's food out. The one that is going to eat. Yes. Like I told you, that's how I prepare the food. It is super easy. Um, I hope the process was very easy for you also to follow. Yeah. Yes guys, that's how I prepared my toddler's food. Like I told you, it is super easy and of course it was really easy. Yes guys, try this food out if you haven't uh, prepared for your kids, for your baby. It is very healthy. Like I said before, let your kids eat more vegetables. Even you as an adult, eat more vegetables. It will boost your immune system. It will fight a lot of things in your body. The little things that we take for granted is actually very important to us. So guys, don't forget to stay healthy and eat healthy yeah that's it for today um till i see you again have a nice and beautiful day bye